everybody welcome to part four of our cereal box canvas mixed media portrait uh, the fourth step is just gluing your portrait down after you've gotten it finished and remember I said we were going to cut this out I work on portraits separately from canvases because uh, it scares me to work to try and do a portrait on a canvas it's a really long story but anyway um, I prefer to take to take my uh, portrait drawing and sketching and painting off the canvas and then at the end of the project I just attach it onto the canvas using some double-sided tape so that's what I did here I also pulled out some elements that I thought would would really make this this box kind of special and I'm using a combination of pre-made items like these type flowers and also some handmade items uh, like my rolled paper roses and my dear friend Bunny's um, her incredible leaf stamp so that's where we are I'm ready to glue down I think this is how I want this I'm not quite sure yet but we're gonna glue it down and hopefully um, we can make some sense of this of this hodgepodge we got going on here in order to glue I am using a brush some straight glue straight Eileen's tacky glue and just a little bit of water to wash off my brush when I need to I'm gonna start at the top of the canvas and I, I kind of like the, the arrangement here. I heard a really good hint from Jenny Belly uh, recently. And she said that if you're doing something like this and you need to remember where your elements go before you're gluing, to take a photograph of it. And I thought, oh, you know, that's a really good idea. I have never thought about that before. So before I started lifting everything off my canvas, I did take a nice photograph and uh, that will help me if I kind of lose my way or if I can't remember the decisions that I was making. I'll be 59 soon so in my vintage state sometimes I can't remember the decisions that I was making. <laughs> oh, okay, now here we go. Yay, I think I remembered all that. And again, this is just a combination of pre-made items and some handmade items. And I thought that looked kind of cool right there where her hair is. Uh, down here I'm using some leaves. I don't really want to tack everything down flush with my canvas because to me, if you've got stuff kind of sticking up, it adds a bit of extra interest to what you're doing. So I'm not, I'm not too fussed about, you know, getting everything flush with my canvas. That's, that's not the point here. I need to pull that down just a little further. I'm going to cover up her shoulder right there. There we go. I'm going to work on this end for a minute. I really do hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. And I love your comments in my comment section. So please comment and let me know if you did like it. And, and uh, if you're, if you're going to try it, I would love to see photos. You can share photos at my Facebook page, which is Tammy Brackett Designs facebook.com Tammy Brackett Designs and that's kind of my art page an art landing page that sometimes I'm really neglectful of so you'll have to excuse me there also if you like what you see it's always extremely helpful if you support this channel you can go to my home page and over on the right side there is a, a small box that says support this channel and you can make any kind of monetary donation that you would like. It's very helpful because last week um, someone blessed me with some money to go buy some white paint. 
I have been missing white paint for a while. And there we go. Got a little more over here. I like these rolled paper roses made out of text paper because they're super easy to glue down. I'm thinking I might need a little something else there. And I've got, I've got a couple choices. Uh, let me grab something and I'll be right back. I'm back, sorry. Um, I, I've got a little space right here and I might slide one of these little um, elements in. I thought those were really pretty. Somebody sent those to me. They're just kind of pretty little discs. I believe that was probably from a package. Um, Maybe, maybe my pal Ann sent that to me. That looks like something she would send. Maybe put one of those right there. I think that looks nice. Go ahead and stick that in there. Okay. I'm going to move down to the bottom of the package. Bottom, <laughs> bottom of the package. It does kind of look like a package, doesn't it? Oh, that's kind of a good idea. You could actually make these and they could be the receptacles for like a gift or something. Put this here. I need something here. I think I'll put another leaf right there. These leaves I cut out of my desk paper. When I was, uh, Changing my desk paper. You know, this is the paper that I sprayed the box on. And that made nice, of course, nice uh, element that matched everything else. Okay, we're going to move on to down here. And there we go. This is a pre-made element that I love. I just think it's so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna put this here. I've got one more of my flowers to go here. And then we're ready to put on our words. I think I need a couple more leaves right here. I might use another one of these shiny things. Very pretty. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's uh, it's always fun to kind of look around the house and see what you can see and make a few things by just using what you have. I think it's really important that we understand that we don't have to have the latest and greatest. You know, we can use what we have at home. I think it's a great lesson for kids to learn. It's wonderful for, for me as a kind of a non-consumer-ish kind of person. I'm going to stick my butterfly down. A friend gave me these. <laughs> she looks quite pretty. The words that I chose for my canvas are, she made herself happy. Isn't that the truth? It's totally what you have to do. You can't rely on anybody else to make you happy. Happiness is your deal. It is an inside job, as I'm so fond of saying. You just have to get out of your own way and let things flow. Don't do that thing you do that makes you unhappy. Change your thoughts, change your life. As Dr. Wayne Dyer would put it. Uh-oh. Rats, I got a little smudge there, y'all. Uh-oh. I'll redo that herself. Because I didn't want it to smudge. Oh well. It's okay. I'll redo it. No worries. All right, guys, there we go. A little cereal box canvas mixed media portrait. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and I hope that you'll try this little technique your very own self. I know that you're going to make something absolutely beautiful. Thanks y'all for stopping in, for hanging around with me, and I appreciate you